pleasure driving down this road. Please, someone take that as the title of my autobiography. Ah, all right, cue the DJ Khaled song. I got the keys. I got the keys, keys, keys. I got the keys, keys, keys. I'm heading to the parking lot to get my car and then driving to get my luggages back. And an exciting road trip over a couple of days. Okay, I'm in the car now. It's a small Suzuki Swift. Um, it's good. It's uh, it's definitely different. Like, like the pedals are on the same side, obviously, but the wheel is on the other side. The way you use the the pedals on the sides are different. Like the right one gives the indication for um, the for the lights and everything, whereas the left one is actually for the um, for the windshield. You know these things. Um, so it's kind of weird, but I'm I'm getting the hang of it. I've driven a couple of minutes. And I've just stopped at the Airbnb, dropped the key, got my bags, put the bikes here, and I'm ready to go now. So it's uh, it's about one, a quarter past one, and uh, I should be arriving in my first stop in a city called Merimbula uh, around six or seven. Hmm, there is a lot of traffic, but it's pretty chill to drive around Sydney. The roads are pretty large, everything is well indicated, even uh, the GPS is actually really convenient. I am finally on the motorway, and this is very enjoyable. <sighs> the sun is gonna set at around 5 or something today, and I'm driving until 20 past 7, so I'm gonna need to be careful when the evening comes, but for now, look at this beautiful road. There were a couple of times when I wanted to put the blinking lights on and the windshield just came on. But uh, yeah, very enjoyable roads and I'm just catching up on a shit ton of podcasts. Like yeah, I've had podcasts waiting for me to listen to for about six months, so I'm finally getting them down. Like it's, it's good to catch up on that. Uh, I've been driving for just under two hours now. I'm just taking a coffee break, a donut break. My donut's here. And uh, yeah, the car is right here behind me. It's uh, yeah, it's a nice drive. Uh, I'm back to a, more of a city, so it's a little bit limited in the speed, but it's nice driving around. Just catching up on all of these podcasts. Back on the road after a quick pit stop. Driving automatic is funny. I've never, I've never really done it before. Uh, but it's just like what everyone said it was. It's uh, pretty self-explanatory. Pretty easy. back in a little town now it's, uh, it, it really reminds me of the US here like you know when you drive inland uh, it's an enjoyable drive it's there is a lot of traffic I'm actually pretty freaking surprised at the traffic but aside from that it's all uh, it's all good it's a nice drive there's trees and greenery everywhere I stopped for about 10 minutes so my ETA is 10 minutes later now and I should be at the motel in Mirimbula around 7.30 p.m. It's 5 minutes to 5 p.m. <laughs> I've turned on the lights on the car, so that's when you know nightfall is coming. Uh, I still have 2 hours 45 to drive, 228 kilometers. Uh, I think I'm gonna take a rest, quick rest, within the next half hour. Took uh, a quick break to get to the bathroom, but the, uh, the shop, the convenience store by the gas station is actually closed, so I'm just gonna drive straight. Uh, I have about 2.5 hours left, and... Yeah, I think I should get to the motel just before 8. Uh, hopefully I can find some place to eat or get some takeaway, like, just around the motel. <sighs> so I've arrived in the small town of Merimbula and I'm looking for some food now. Apparently there's an Italian restaurant which seems to be one of the only places around. <laughs> Quick 
quick half hour pit stop at the Italian restaurant. I just had some cheese, four cheeses, gnocchi. It was delicious. And uh, yeah, I'm getting back to the hotel now. I mean the motel. So yeah, I guess tomorrow I'll see what the town looks like. And by the way, welcome to the motel. I've got the big bed behind me. And then there's like a kitchen area and a bathroom over there. Uh, and oh, yeah, there's a sofa here. Uh, but I'm just here for the night, so... Just gone out of the shower and I am uh, packing. Packing my bags, as you can see behind me, and I'm ready to go. I think I'm gonna go, there's a bakery nearby, so I'm gonna get some uh, food and then I can hit the road. And I'm leaving now at 10, so I should be... I should have enough time to like stop along the way and discover some things, we'll see. Straight up, straight up. I should be at my next destination, a city called Traralgon. By uh, quarter past three. However, that's not taking into account any break, any uh, lunch. <laughs> so yeah, I'm on the road. I think I'm gonna drive for about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, something like that. And then when it's time to uh, to get some lunch, I'll try to find like a city or a village or something. I need to find a way to put this on the map, but essentially I'm driving down the coast. Sydney is on the east and I'm driving through the south and then inlands a bit. Like from the southeast essentially to uh, the, the east, which is where Melbourne is. Alright, so I've actually uh, got to the next big enough city, which is called Eden. And oh my god, this is why it's called Eden. I was gonna say I was looking for the oop, beautiful area and I thought, huh, oh, I could give it a try, I could uh, have a look at it. And it is gorgeous up in here! <sighs> so I've just parked and uh, the car is here and look behind me is the ocean. Let's go check it out. It is really chilly but it is so beautiful here. Also, that motel, it was pretty nice. Like the bed was comfortable, I wasn't too cold at night because I was under the covers. And interestingly enough, the internet was a hundred times, literally a hundred times faster than in Sydney. In the middle of nowhere, Australia, tiny cheap motel, the internet was so much better. This is amazing. Also, yeah, this is beautiful. <laughs> I mean, are you kidding me? This is beautiful. <laughs> So I think I'm going to be driving over there and then all the way towards there. Similarly to last night, uh, when I was driving for about an hour on my own on the road, I was on my own lane uh, by myself for an hour, hour and a half. With that, I am seemingly the only one on the road right now. Oh look, it's raining, it's raining, it's raining. I, uh, I need to find a gas station soon. I'm on the last quarter. Alright, so it looks like I found the uh, tourist drive, which is a 42 kilometers stretch on a beautiful road and apparently a coastal road too. So I think I'm gonna stay on this road. I originally took that road because I was looking for a gas station. Look at that. Found the gas station, so I'm ready to go now. Uh, it's half past 12, so I'm gonna try and look for some food. Okay, so I've made it through a gravel road, which is crazy. It's here. Yeah. I'm so confused. All right, so I've arrived on that uh, on that road full of gravel, and like it was full of potholes and everything. However, I just kept following my instinct. I had looked on the map before and uh, look, I'm not gonna complain, right? This is, this is amazing. I'm just here by the beach. 
That was absolutely beautiful. And that's exactly the reason why I wanted to travel to Australia and why I wanted to rent a car on my own is to have the opportunity to see things like these. I, I was just trying to take it all in before driving back. So as great as this was, um, I just took another look on the map and uh, I need to take a, a turn and go back and it's gonna take me like a good half hour uh, to drive back to where I was on the main road, but you know, fucking, it was worth it. Back on the main road, the quality of the road is obviously so much better now, and I can get up to a hundred kilometers. This is great. I'm excited for food. <laughs> Alright, 10 to 2 p.m. I am hung and there's a food place right next to me, so I'm parked in a city called Can River. Okay, just under two hours to go. Uh, I think I'm gonna stop for a coffee at the next stop, at the next place, wherever that is. All right, so I've just stopped in this little cafe and I'm ready to go back on the road. Should be there in about an hour. Okay, so I am driving during golden hour, which is at the end of the day when the sun goes, starts going down and it gets closer to the earth and it looks fucking beautiful. And the road is really nice, there's no one ahead of me. I, I'm, have, I'm taking a lot of pleasure driving down this road. Pleasure driving down this road. Please, someone take that as the title of my autobiography. Straight up driving towards the sunset now. Ladies and gentlemen, I have arrived at the motel. Half past five, I am right on time, so I'm gonna try and check in, put my bags down. I'm not sure what to do later. Um, it doesn't seem that there's a restaurant within walking distance, so. <sighs> arrived at the motel, very similar to yesterday, because it's a motel, but um, yeah. And then I hear, I'm here. I think I'm gonna chill for a little and then the owner actually indicated me a couple of restaurants in town Which is about like 10-15 minutes by walk. So I might just go by walk <sighs> It is 10 a.m. Right now. I am about to leave the motel Yeah, about to go. I have two hours to drive today and then I'll be at my destination So it's it's gonna give me a good enough time to um, get some food and explore around I have about 10 minutes to go. I'm, I'm gonna arrive by 12.45 today. You should be able to see the ocean. Obviously it feels like England in like the spring or the fall, when it's like not hot outside. Oh, I've just arrived at the, uh, at the motel. It is 12.46, so I am bang on. Time. Uh, original ETA was 12.48, so that's good. I'm gonna go see if I can check in, hopefully, fingers crossed, but technically it should be 2 p.m. It is 10 to 4 right now. I've had a lovely little Italian lunch uh, by the ocean in this Italian restaurant, just right here, and then went for a cafe, uh, went for a coffee at a cafe, and I'm gonna drive here along the coast, and then go to the Penguin Reserve.
Good morning everybody, I am leaving the small city of San Remo, uh, I might just stop for a quick breakfast before that, and I should have about an hour and a half, an hour 40 minutes to get to Melbourne, exciting! I am on the road, I should be in Melbourne by 12.05 if I'm on schedule, just had a really great experience, so in Australia you can pay with your card, credit card, debit card, uh, and they have contactless here too, just like we have in Europe. But here, contactless goes up to a hundred Australian dollars, which is about uh, 70 euros, about 70, 75 dollars. And what this means in practice is that I was just paying for the gas, like I just fueled up the tank of the car. And I could just tap with my card and then I had paid. This makes things like paying for gas and all these other experiences where you just have to queue it makes it so much faster because back in Europe all we have is contactless for like small purchases so you know you go to the convenience store and if it's under 20 euros then you can pay with it and if it's 20 euros and 10 cents then you can't pay contactless and it's like this is such a better way of doing things well done Australia yesterday I was disappointed with the uh, the penguin thing but today I am impressed with the uh, contactless card also on that similar note talking about finances and payments and stuff um, everywhere in Australia they accept cards and most of them accept cards from 10 Australian dollars so seven and a half US dollars seven euros it is really good and really practical and really convenient in Melbourne uh, there's a lot of uh, road work being done here so I'm just going around and looking for uh, the place where I can drop off the car uh, this is frustrating I've been driving for 25 minutes in this city just because I'm supposed to take uh, a big u-turn with this tram tracks and road works so I can't actually take the u-turn it is frustrating uh, yeah hopefully in six minutes ish I'll be there I have 20 minutes to get there also, I'm completely unrelated, but Melbourne at first sight looks much bigger than Sydney. Like in Sydney, I could walk in the center everywhere, but here, um, yeah, it's uh, definitely like long distances even with a car. Back from a quick lunch, and I've got a serious workplace going on here. Phone, iPad to keep track of things, and laptop. I'm gonna be here for 10 days, possibly alone for 10 days, so it's gonna be a dope workplace. <laughs> 